find who I'm to now. That box does the thing with being the box now, and I hope you guys enjoy. The number one hit music station, 107.5 KCL. Jared and Katie got a great idea for one of your hilarious phone taps. My friend April is freaking out because her apartment is being fumigated this coming weekend, and she is terrified of bugs. Me too. <laughs> She's afraid that once the place is bug bombed, all sorts of critters are going to come pouring out of every nook and cranny of her apartment, trying to escape the fumes. Which, I mean, I guess could happen, right? I don't know. If it's all foggy in there, yeah, bug I guess. spray. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, anyway, this guy Aaron, who's writing the email, says, "Can you guys call her as the exterminator and warn?" her about all of the creepy crawlers she's going to find in the next couple of weeks. He says, go really over the top. Tell her that they're going to be in her bed. Oh my god. We can do better than that. I think we can yeah. too. This is uh, from Aaron in Trinity. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning. Hey, so we like your idea. Yeah, it's great. We don't like the bug part, but we like your idea. <laughs> Oh, awesome. <laughs> okay, so we have um, April's phone number. We're going to call her. We're going to figure out a way to get all of us on the line. You just hang tight, and when we tell her later that she's been phone tapped, you can chime in, okay? Uh, sounds great. All right, hold on. Okay, here we go. I'll hardly be funny. May I speak with April, please? This is she. Hi, April. This is Tiffany calling from. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? We're good. Hey, listen, before we get started, I just want to confirm something. I have a lot of trainees uh, on the line. I just wanted to let you know that it's going to be kind of like a conference call type thing. We're training the people okay. who are going to be at your apartment on Saturday. Is that okay? You're bringing in like training people in my apartment for this well we're bringing in the real exterminators too but these people are just pra they're just learning how to do it so we just like to be that you know like kind of like cross training type thing but i have to get your permission before we continue is that okay um yeah i guess okay so uh, listen, yeah, I know that morning morning april oh that that's chad hey yo april and hi that's aaron hello and that's rico he's on the phone all right um so april let me just get a couple rico. Let me get a couple uh, things right. So this Saturday at 8 a.m., you need to be out of your apartment, okay? Okay. Okay, and we are going to come in, all five of us, and we're going to start to exterminate your place. Okay. And you're aware that you cannot be in your apartment for the next 12 hours, right? <laughs> I probably won't be in there all week. That's fine. Okay, and do you have any pets on the site or no? No. Okay, if you have any pets whatsoever, they need to be out of the apartment as well. Okay. All right. We're gonna we're uh, estimating that the extermination is probably gonna take about five or six hours, and so you can uh, you can't return until like the end of the weekend. Okay. All right. So, so this will, like kill all of them, right? Like nothing will be in there. Are you guys gonna like it's, like the dead bugs out of there, or is there like am I gonna come home to like an apartment full of dead bugs? Like, well, oh. I mean, typically like the rate is about ninety percent of the bugs, so you might have like one or two that are left over. Uh, but you can... Can but, you guys, like, take an extra hour and, like, just make sure you get everything? I... Well, I, I just can't. Part of the deal is that one of us comes back the next day, and then they can just sweep it. It'll probably be Rico who, who comes back and, and sweeps all the dead bugs. Rico. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, okay. Okay. Now, now okay. which ones are you really worried about? Are you worried about the ants? Are you worried about the roaches? Ew, all, um, <laughs> all of them, I guess, roaches are... Grocery because they're bigger, but uh -huh. I, I'm sorry, I really don't like bugs. Okay. Do you have uh, do you have ticks or fleas or uh, termites? I mean, we'll check for all of those, but those can be bad this time Not of year. Not that I know of. Caterpillars, centipedes, it's, anything like that. Could I have them and not know about it? Sure. Absolutely. They hide in the walls. That's what they love to do. Yeah. In the walls? Are you serious? Yes. Typically, the ones that have the most legs are the ones that are the big hiders. Yeah. Uh, I'm not trying to scare you. They wouldn't be like my bed or anything. Like they're. Oh yeah, your the bed's walls? covered. You've heard of bed bugs, right? Ew, yeah, like but only like, don't have the bed bugs. They're bite they're uh, they're microscopic. That means you can't see with your eyeballs. Uh -huh. So we get those too. Are you serious? You but might underestimate these guys. <laughs> yeah, these. I mean, they're serious. They'll bite your skin. Hey, April. While we got oh. you on the phone, why don't you do me a favor? Go to your mattress. 
peel back that uh-huh. layer, you know, that, that layer of your sheets and look underneath yeah. and see if you see some, some bugs moving. Because I bet you, oh I bet gosh. you there are bugs yeah. that are moving. Hold on, let me check. Look for black spots. That's mm-hmm. the, that's the feces. But they're moving probably. Rico cleans the feces too. Wait, like feces like poop? Yes. Yeah. In yeah. my bed. In, in your bed. In my bed. In your bed under the covers. But Rico, you get all, he'll get oh all the gosh. poop off. So mm-hmm. gross. Um... No, I don't. Black dots? Like, I think this is lint. I don't. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. Rico got scabies once. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rico, uh, Rico, uh, he, uh, he don't speak English too good like we does. But he's a bug expert. But he knows. He's good. He does the sweeping and the poop. He had, yeah, one time uh, these bugs got under his skin mm-hmm. and they laid eggs. They impregnated his skin, so scabies. to speak. Mm-hmm. He got Ew. scabies. Oh, my God. What kind of bug is that? What scabies. kind of bug is that? April, another good way to tell if you have the bugs is that sometimes they'll be living in your pillow, and sometimes they'll go into your ear and they lay their babies everywhere. What? what? Mm-hmm. Okay, what kind of bug is this, and what does it look like? I don't know. It's got a lot of legs. They, they, they got so many names, you know. They have these big old fancy, like, uh, Hobbit names, you know, long names with many syllables. Like, I call him yeah. Lego. Like, yeah, we Some got nicknames for these P. bugs. Yeah. But, but you're gonna you're gonna check for all of these, right? Like, yes, all of them. Yeah, I know. I know. It was a gal one time that uh, she got um, uh, some bugs in her uh, her special spot. Oh, right. <gasps> yeah, right up there and laid eggs and uh, woof. She didn't have a date for oh months. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I can't. But Rico, he'll clean that out too. Rico. April, wait, what? April, are you nervous about the bugs that will come from the ceiling? Have you noticed any like creepy oh, crawlers gosh. on your ceiling? Those are the worst. Crawl upside yeah. down. Yeah, you have, you've seen those? No, I mean, I had, like, a spider there, like, last week that I, I would, like, freak out. I mean, my now. Yes, yeah, so I, I knew been, this like, guy one time. On the Sorry to interrupt. I knew this guy one time. He got so many bugs, like termites, on his legs. He had a wooden leg. They ate his wooden leg, and he got up, and he fell down and broke his arm. I remember that. That's 1999, crazy. right? Yeah, Rico was there. Yeah. He cleaned up the leg. Rico. Mm-hmm. So he, like, he had them and he didn't even know that he had them? Well, he knew he had them. He knew he had a wooden but leg, I'll tell you that. Yeah, he and didn't... he didn't call anybody like you called, so you're already in the plus one. You're being proactive. Oh we like gosh. that. All right. Oh, my God. I'm going to be sick. I'm sorry. So. Can you guys come, like, tomorrow? So, like, Instead. your appointment's set for Saturday. Like, I can't go back to my apartment tonight. And remember, remember in the beginning of the call when I said that it was going to be 90% of the bugs will die, 10% are going to live, but that is way better than the 90% that are dead. So if you got 1,000 bugs, then, uh, I don't know, Rico, what's the math on what's that? The... Rico, 100. That's 100. That is 100 bugs still here that could be living in my ears or on my ceiling or in my walls or in... Oh, don't forget about your downstairs area, Missy. Yeah. Don't forget the showers. Yeah, they're I, everywhere. I feel like you're getting worked up. You shouldn't get worked up. We're coming Rico to kill them. Rico, it's itchy. I know you're going to kill them, but you're not going to kill all of them. So what's good? Because then they're just going to have babies, and then there's going to be more. So like, if you don't kill all the bugs, what good is it even coming? April, you know? that's the circle of life. I just need you to get them all. <laughs> the circle of life. We we just sweep them up. Put on the chicken net. The circle of life. I like him. Oh, now she's crying. We didn't mean to scare you. We didn't mean to. Rico. Hey, hey, don't Rico, Rico is a scary baby. Oh, you need to tell her. April! This isn't funny. I don't understand why you guys are doing It is funny. Hey. April, it's pretty funny. It is. It's Jared and Katie in the morning on 107.5 KZL. And you have been phone tapped. <laughs> Your buddy Aaron put us wait, up to it. Yeah. Wait, wait, what? Uh-huh. Aaron, go ahead and explain. Uh, hey, Aaron. Uh, I knew you were freaking out about this fumigation thing, and I thought... It would be pretty funny to have the crew call you up. Sure. What? Oh, my God. Wait, none of that was true, was it? Oh, I mean, I don't know. We're not experts. I, I have no idea how to kill any bugs. I don't like them either. Okay, we hate them too, April. I <laughs> mean... So it's all a joke. Yeah, I hate that. They want to call real professionals to get, you know, exactly what they're going to do. Yeah. 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 You guys are great, but I don't think I want you killing my bugs in my apartment. We don't want to kill you. Uh-uh. Yeah, we won't be there. You know, if you didn't have nightmares before, you will now. So yeah. you're welcome. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. All right, April. Oh, like bugs in the skin. That was a lie, right? <laughs> yes. No. I think. Well, they did have them. Rico had them once. Yeah, Rico did have them. <laughs> oh, God. His name is a son. Rico, Rico was a scabby baby. I was a scabby baby once. It's not pleasant. <laughs> yeah, Rico's filthy. If you would like Jared and Katie wow. to do one of their phone taps for you, simply email Jared at 1075kzl.com. All participants granted 1075kzl permission to air this phone tap on the air prior to today's airing. Oh, well, that was funny. She was uh, upset before they tell her that she was being phone tapped. She was freaking out. 
Um, to be honest, there are people who doesn't like barks, and some people do. So yeah, great fun to have. Um, I don't know what the next one is. Um, what the next um, fun time is called, but I can't wait to re react to the next one. And then one after that, and then one after that. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end this here. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Leave a like, follow me on social media, and I will see you guys soon with a brand new video. Bye now.